The Pyramid of Doom. Written and illustrated by Nick Abadis. For Natalie. Chapter 1. It is a still night somewhere in Africa. This is Zaguma, a small town near the edge of a great desert. Tom Baxter is here on holiday with his father. As Tom sleeps, his father waits for a visitor. Tom's farmer, father is the famous archaeologist Dr William Baxter. At last! Mohammed, welcome! I have something for you, Dr Baxter. I'm giving it to you because you are my friend and I can trust you. Through the ages, many have tried to find the Dark Pyramid, a map. They were either with vanished or returned mad. I know you are curious, but the pyramid is hidden for a reason. You'll be the first archaeologist here. I'll take my choice. Look, but do not enter. I'll do as you say, and I'll make sure the pyramid stays, pyramid stays hidden, hidden. I trust you. Take care, Dr. Baxter. Thank you, Mohammed. Dr. Ba- Dr. Baxter loads up his jeep. He doesn't know he's being watched. It's Professor Henry Mist, another archaeologist with his daughter Jodie. I knew it was a good idea to follow Baxter to Africa. It's just not on holiday. He's not, he's not just on holiday. He's found something. Yeah, Dad. Where's the world to be on holiday? Oh, remember? Shh. We drove all, we drove all night to get it. Can't we sleep now? Soon. First I need to roll this to the track and the so on dark on back to deep so we all lost him. Done. Now I can leave my laptop computer into the global satellite tracker network. I can find Baxter anywhere. Nearby. Tom! Wake up, son! Come on, get ready, we're going on an adventure. Cool! Soon. Where are we going, Dad? To Pyramid, but you can't tell anyone about it afterwards. You... You mean we, you are going to write a report on it? It's a secret pyramid, just for you and me to see. Exciting, huh? Excellent! Days of travelling pass. Tom and his father follow the map over some rough country. It takes them deep, deep into a train, tra- chain of low mountains. It's a lonely place where very few people have ever be. Mace follows at a distance. On the fourth day there is a sandstorm. Dad, this map is not very good. It's very old, Tom. Suppose we miss, suppose we miss the pyramid. We'll just have to keep looking. Dr. Baxter's jeep struggles on over the ground, rough ground. Then suddenly the sandstorm is gone. Look! Incredible. A hidden a hidden valley the shelf that shelf of rock stops it being seen from above and the mountains are d- and the mountains and desert all around it seem to form never ending sandstorms. It is an oasis, isn't it, Dad? Yes, and nobody and it's no so cut off. Nobody knows it's here. Look, ruins signs that ancient people once lived here. What a strange place! The map says we should go around this next rock and see. The, py- the pyramid. Incredible. But I've never seen a pyramid like this one, Tom. It looks as if it hasn't been touched by a human hand for thousands of years. Let's set up a camp and explore. Soon. What have you found? Ancient hieroglyphics. I'm decoding them. Are we going inside? Not a good idea. This is a warning to stay away and leave this pyramid and more. There's more. Beware under the pyramid leaves the evil great snake from beyond this world. He would just let out 
it will destroy everything in its pot. Hey, Kurt, this is a weird place, Dad. There's a bad feeling in the air. Yes, and I promised Mohammed I'd make sure this pyramid stays hidden. You're really not going to tell anyone about it. Let's just say that some things should remain secret. I'm afraid I I'm I'm afraid I can't agree. Henry Mace. Greetings, Dr. Baxter. Baxter, this pyramid is an incredible find. What are you doing here? Oh, I got dragged along, you know how it is. To, to think I found my way just after you. We must tell the world. No, it stays hidden. You just want to keep the glory or is this glory for yourself? Read the warning, Mace. Ancient Hogwash. Mace, calm, Mace, just calm down. Let's sleep on it on it before we decide what to do. Good. It's light. Can't we get up in morning? Mate, 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 let's always follow you. He's jealous of the respect you get. How did he find us here? It must I must think of a way of stopping him from hanging around the world. Dodie's in my class at school, you know? We don't mates. She's always grumpy. If I had her dad, I'd be grumpy too. Ha oh, ha, oh, let's have some sleep. The next morning. Dr. Baxter! Dr. Baxter! Dr. Baxter, wake up! My dad's gone messy! Georgie? Two minutes later. Dad, look! Oh no, he's broken in the pyramid! Chapter 2, Inside the Pyramid I got, well, I got worried when I, when I woke up and he'd gone. He always wakes me up. It's okay, we'll find him. Look, there's his notebook. Strange, why won't he leave that hit? He must have been decoded the hieroglyphics. On this wall. It's okay, we'll find a uh, hmm. Two small cubes are the key to this pyramid. Dark light. I think we've gone to find these light and dark cubes. But from his notes, it doesn't look as if he's bothered to destroy the category the rest of the of this wall. What's new? He's so in What's new? It's so impatient. 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 This is the story of the builders of this pyramid and the, and the people who lived in this valley. Somehow, a long time ago, the great snake found its way through a gateway from its, old, from its own world into our world. The people here fought back and built the pyramid to block the gateway. More warnings. Beware the calling of the great snake. Do those who are weak will become its servants. Servant, servant. Do not separate the magic cubes. This will set the great snake free. Ha! Ah! Don't! Ha! Ah! Jody! Oh. Jody! Quickly, Tom ties the end of his ball of the thing. Put his backpack to a pillar. This this way we can we can find our way back to the entrance. Whoa, Dad! A pit! Help! Help! I'm sl- slipping. Something white splashes in the dark water far below Jody. Something with teeth. Jody, grab my hand. Can't reach. Come on, just a little further. Got you. Jody is rescued. Are you okay? Yes, Dr. Baxter. What are, what, what are those things down there? 
white crocodiles. They don't look like they don't like the that light. They must have been they must have been breeding down there for set for centuries. The water must be coming from, from muscle, water must be come from we were outside but the crocodile crocodile can't get out. Ne- they've never seen day they've never seen daylight? Right. Lucky Hesse. Sorry I w- sorry I went it off. I thought maybe Dad hadn't gone far. Well this pyramid will be full of booby traps. Its build its builders will will have made finding the cubes as hard as possible in in case of tomb raiders. We must be very careful. Meanwhile somewhere else in the pyramid how did I get here? I feel so strange. This is my favorite or where I thought. Maybe it's all this exploring. Make me excited. Making me too excited, actually. I'm shot and lost the cubes. It's almost as if I can hear them calling to me. Mace. Come to me, Mace. Elsewhere in the pyramid. This way. Let's try this room. Dad, my torches have gone out. That's all right. I put new battery, b- batteries in both torches. Try the spares in the backpack. Tom changed his batteries, but it's still no good. Mine's no good either. This is, this is creepy. Keep close to me, you two. Dad, it's totally black, black, black. I don't like this. Keep calm, both of you. Tom, there are three flame torches and a lighter in your backpack. Can you find one of them? Got one, Dad. Something touched me. That was me, Tom. No, it's a little of my foot. Sss. Yeah, what's that? Light your torch, Tom. It's only a statue, but look, its tongue is moving. It's a snake! Snakes? I hate snakes! I hate snakes! Phew, give me a torch. I've got a pet snake at home. I know how to handle them. Snakes are like any other animals. They're scared of fire. Swoosh! This is the fire. Let's go. Let's go this way instead. Good idea, Dad. Meanwhile, Mace is being guided by the vo- voice of the great snake. Mace, when you reach the next room, beware of the prick. Protectors of the cubes. Elsewhere. Another booby trap. That was so close. That was so close. The the torch is still dead, but why? Because because some because something won't stop something wanted to stop us from reaching my dad. Hold on, Jody. Everything we've seen can be explained. There are no strange. There are no. There are no strange forces at work here. I know that's what we should do. Be thinking, Doctor Baxter. But how do you explain those, mummies? They must be trying to protect the cubes. No strange forces. I take it back. Dad. Dad. Can you hear us? What's wrong with him? It's the great slave! It's the great slave! It's the great slave! It's the great slave! servant! Shhh! Tom! Dad! Dad! What are you doing? Mace! Take only the dark cube! But I want them both! Fool! Do as I say! Separate the cube! So I can cross into your world. That voice. It's the calling of a great snake. Moose, no. Nah, 
No, you are completely in my power. I said only you, a great snake. Now bring it to the right way. All you need to do is help me through. Is re- all you need to do to help me through is read the magic words on the dark cube. We must follow him. How oh, the mummies all around us. Chapter three. What up with these guys? They're here to protect the cube. They see, they see us all as tom- tomb raiders. That what would happen if we follow Mace with the light cube? Uh, let's find out. Watch your back, you two. Tomb! Out of my way, rock hard! Go! Don't go, Tom. You're too fast for them. Dr. Baxter, is it time we made a line for it too? Yes, let's go, Jody. Move it. Boom. Boom. Bang. This trap's quite fast for someone who is 4,000 years old. Tom climbs the platform where the light cube sits. What are you doing, son? Be careful! Got it! Wow, that feels very weird. Cool! That was a big jump. It must be a side effect of the magic. Dad, Dad went down here. Hey! Look out, Jody! <laughs> It's okay, I got you. Quickly! The mines can't move beyond this room! How did you know all that? It's time the cube is telling, is telling me. I see it now! The cubes are balanced and they work like a key. If separated, they open the door to the great snake. Bring them closer and bring it closest. Right! Right, we want to slam the door in his face and lock it. Shh, you too. Mace is reading the magic words on the dark cube. Oh, great snake. I summon you and welcome you into our world. And we're too late to stop it. As the big great snake crosses from his world into ours, it hisses a cry of freedom. We need the dark cube to touch the gateway. We can't get it. Get it. We can't even touch it without becoming a servant of that thing. There's some. There's some mummy rag on my foot. Ugh. We don't need to touch it. We can light it. See, Tom, do you know the way out of this place? Tom, you know the way out of this place, right? But that's why the string. Jody, wait. Jody, what are you doing? I want, I want my dad, Mr. Baxter. Oh, no. Hey, Dad. Master, there's others here. They must be your first fix, Tom's. Look, they have the lab cube. It's better to bear them and destroy it. Then the gate will be open forever. I see. I chose my servant well. The sick whizz up and this is a hunting cry. But Jody doesn't run. And so she hurls her body towards Abs the snake. All things are afraid of fire. Uh, of fire. Yee! Then she grabbed the dark key from her father with her bandaged hand. No! And then she run, and then she runs. They all run. They run like they have never run, run in their lives. 
There was a rumbling sound. Everything starts to shake. The pyramid starts to crumble. Something is coming. Something huge. <coughs> Something that is very, very, I mean, very angry. The great snake comes. Crunch! Tom! Clack! No! But then the snake puts its venom at the cube. Oh no! Only it is too late. Deep inside the pyramid, the gateway is closing and sucks the snake back. <coughs> Slap. When the dust clears, the whole pyramid got sucked through the gateway and an incredible discovery gone forever. Who cares that the snake is gone? L- look, it meant to destroy the light cube with its venom, but it actually melted them together. They don't seem very magic anymore. Good, now it's locked in its own world forever. Jody, my dad was in there. Jo- jo- Jody? My, my dad was in there. <laughs> Uh, no, he wasn't. Maybe the gateway spat him back out. Baxter, what have you done with the pyramid? Don't you remember anything, Mason? Oh, it's all coming back to me. How embarrassing. Is that all you could say? You should be ashamed of yourself. None of this would have happened if it wasn't for you. Dr. Baxter saved my life twice today. You should be thanking him. You shouldn't be thank. You shouldn't be thanking him. Shouldn't you be thanking him? And Jody saved ours. You should be proud, mate. You're a very brave daughter. I'm. I'm sorry, Baxter. Can we all just pretend this never happened? <clears throat> I'll keep quiet if you do, Mace. We'll both look silly talking about a pyramid that vanished. Don't worry, Dr. Baxter. I'll keep an eye on him. I bet you will take care, Jody. Thanks for everything, Dr. Baxter. Hey, Jody! S- see you in school! Yeah, look forward to it. The end.